Hi everyone, this is Bakpa2 here. Seems as though we got a second uh, chance to rise up the poles. Don't see ma this mer happen very often, but this... But uh, I had no sooner lost this game in the first take, a technical difficulty struck. Eliminating that. So here we are, we're trying to figure out <sighs> Red the Tick. So anyway, hopefully the controller uh, controller's ability to communicate with the PlayStation will not freeze up this time. Because that's where we were. We were in the process of saving the game, saving the photos and all that, and all of a sudden, I could not get it to select, go to the save button. I couldn't figure out why that was. I know the game was working. And uh, so the console didn't freeze. But somehow it... But somehow the ability to communicate with the place... Uh, with the uh, controller. Well, the controller stopped communicating with... Talking to the PlayStation. Or something. I don't know. But we got a second chance here to rise up the poles. We're not taking any chances. Thanks to that, we're also to those were to the second chance. We're still number four. We intend to aim higher. Go for numero uno. We're getting close to it as possible. Kirk Curb Street is projected us to win. And we're projected to win as well. Uh -uh. Glad to have you with us in the studio. So, I'm uh, Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that uh, excites. These two teams so have largely separated themselves from the rest of the conference. Game we now go the to. chance to separate from each other and play we the still have a chance to get league. to the BCS. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. I'm letting them know what Iowa's like this year. I'm not leaving much to chance. Hughes Stadium in Fort Collins, Colorado. A lot of excitement in the air for this college football showdown. And now it's time for the coin talk. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste. Zero calories. Enjoy everything. The other controller that I have has a loose cord at, at the uh, base there. Right at the controller itself there. I've been wanting to get that wireless controller that I got when I first got this PlayStation. Idaho has lined up for the kickoff, and we're yeah, ready to get this one underway. Yeah. He just drills move. this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Colorado but every time I've gone down to Walmart to get it, they out, never out. had it. So, you know what? Two. And they've got that so huge I'm, offensive line. Yeah, and, I'm going to stop know, going to Walmart to get gaming things. Global. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted yeah. running back, 
it opens up to every me, that's like going into a so best buy. Pass with this running you know, game. He gets those linebackers and safeties coming yeah, up close like to the line that's just like going into to really uh, like say a best show you can do as a complete offense. So it'll be a challenge. The Rams have a player yeah. that's up for national awards. It's all speculation to, uh, to right get, now. Yeah, to get some produce. With him. He's got to worry about playing this football game. Go to Best Buy to uh, Zone Week it's from the their own 44 yard line. We're going to it's Best Buy down. to uh, get my medications refilled. I'm going to walk greens. You know, uh, to get a color TV. He's at the point now. He's taken down at about the 35. <laughs> I mean, that's what that's what it's like to go up in the air with Walmart. Yeah, but Walmart is great for it's like selling clothes and things like that you would ordinarily find at a Kmart. But when it comes to other things, you know, like like electronics, they're they're no good at it. We've got a they're, they're half ass. They like to think, you know, say, oh, well, we haven't got the best Walmart, you know, the Super Center or whatever. Thompson think, gets another carry. Really? Somehow I don't he's think. He's in the 20. And he's taken down at the 17. Uh, Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. I don't think uh, those who are around Super Centers would agree with that. Flipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. Okay. First and seven. From the 32 yard line. No big deal. First down. Screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Nice no, three seriously. Nine, three, nine. Three, 15. I think I'm going to stop. Gets I've stopped to going to Walmart. And he gets a yard on the run. He was playing the run all the way and was For able to stop anything it quickly. Related Good job to game. senior safety. Because it's. <laughs> It's not worth it. Quick slants. From the 31 yard line. Second down. Go four. Green 15. Looks for his receiver. First down. Tackle around the 21 yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep. It was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. Zone weak. Zone week again. From the 16 yard line, it's second down. I would go for that play action power, oh, but. They don't seem to be, uh, be very interested in stopping our running game. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Personal, Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. defense. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So the offense will move a little the bit first closer goal. with that penalty. First and now we'll put them out of the misery. Knocking on the door. And we're going to barge in. Makes a handoff. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you okay. release the football. They're at the six. Second down. 
You want us to run it in? Okay, fine. I'll run it in. run and he's brought down. Thompson picks up about four yards on the play. That makes his third and goal. It's the ninth play, play of the drive. Power. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. He makes the PAT. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese? The Rebels came into the game ranked ninth. After the bitterly disappointing loss, how far will the Colts move them down? And for Ole Miss, this loss knocks them out of bowl contention. It's going to be an interesting offseason. The Razorbacks walk out with a seven-point win. Elsewhere, time right. to check in on Corvallis. And for Oregon State, the win today sends them off to a bowl. The Beavers top it off with a seven-point win. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Again, I get Arizona in the Pac-10, the uh, Mountain West, too. Excellent kick. Arizona and Oregon State as well He's as tackled. Washington the 21-yard line. I picked those them off from the Pac-12. And it's in Boise State, UNLV, and Hawaii, too, the Pac-12. Ticket game. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And down he goes, the 24-yard line. Picket game. their own 24-yard line. Second down. He makes his way out to about the 35. And a good play there. Here they give it to the fullback on the that option. That was the big guy this game. Yards. I'll edit it and I'll put it in the technical difficulties file. And let the game call this. And I get a separate from their own 35 yard line. First down playlist just for technical difficulties. He's at midfield. Oh boy. To the 20. To the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. So that's the way they're going to play it. Okay. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And the point after is no good. Doink! With a three-play, 79-yard drive. And they put six points on the board after missing the extra point. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot. And they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. <laughs> the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback.
Can't that draw? They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Colorado State is up one. Up the middle for a nice game. Forty-five quick base. They're about four yards away here on second down. Four or five quick base will take care of that. Nice run there. And now he's up over a thousand yards on the ground for the year. Just staying healthy an entire year should be considered success for a running back. There is no doubt that this guy has been a large part of this team's success. Curls Y stick. Where did you think you were throwing that? 45 quick base. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 35. They give to the tailback. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line. See third and two. I let the speed so option. Third down, and they've got about two yards to go. I let the speed option. Colorado State with a one-point lead. He laterals the ball. They'll bring him down at about the 45. They'll be short of the first down after that unsuccessful fourth running play. Inches. Nice job here by the defense of holding firm and forcing a fourth down. I'm not gonna. Mm -mm. It's big draw. It's fourth down, and they're gonna try to go for it. Kind of surprising here that they didn't elect to punt. I don't agree with this call. Three nine. Three nine. Draw play. Right around the 46 yard. Too easy. I'm not the least bit surprised. Bubble screen. First and 10. Ball on the 46. I might not have gotten it with a fullback dive. Then again, I might have. Oh my God, Dustin! The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good Yo, player dude. from a great player. When you you see the guys in the white. Advantage of it. Don't throw it to them. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. You see the little green men out there? Those are your friends. You want to throw to them. He's got to his title. And he yeah, the, I know. They're little green men. But trust so me, the they the are ball, your friends. Colorado State leads 7 6. Uh, play action, power O. Welcome back Left here. Side. We resume action now here right in the side. second quarter. Colorado State up a point. And two, X seven. Throw 
is complete. He's got room to work. Steps out of bounds at the 38. Mm. Fourth and two. That'll make it fourth and two. Let's see what my let's see what my options are. Other than a fake punt. Zone week, I'm not too warm on. Well, they're it. looking for another fourth down conversion. They've already got one two. this drive. Clock is running down. Got it. H back draw. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. I wasn't too keen on that. Zone week, but <laughs> hey, it did the job. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Second and three slants. Here's the twelfth play of the drive. This is that's. This is the situation for it. The slant. Perfect for this play. And he throws it away. Okay, Dustin. H back smash. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. We should get three yards Colorado on this State play. Is up one. For hundred yards. Already in the half. Ah, I don't like that H back draw for me. I will take the H back dive. From the ten yard line. It's first down. The stop at the eight. Yes. That'll make it second and seven. Yeah, you take that little stop. I hate the read option. This is I hate it. of a very impressive drive. Straight run. Nothing going on there. Wow. That guy in the CU dynasty wouldn't have gotten that. Wouldn't have gotten past that. Comebacks. From the eight yard line. Third down. Dustin, you remember what I said about the guy, uh, about the little green man? They'll line up for the field goal. The, the, this the is little green man and the uh, little white boys. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. That, by the way, is not meant to be racist. Taken from the three yard line. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24 yard line. Up 
with one some quarter down. Blitz. I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. There's a strike complete. He's down. Monster Second three. down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They try running left. And he's <laughs> Not him back. Not on that play. <laughs> Not this teammate back right into him. I'll pick either one of those cover plays. Yeah, either one of those cover plays. On twenty six. Ball, give me now. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. McGill is waiting for the snap. Oh. <laughs> H back draw right up the middle. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Colorado State is up by four. Green nine, green nine, over. Hands it to the back. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. About two yards there on that delayed handoff. That makes it six. spot from the 46 yard line it's second down This defensive coordinator is not afraid to send the house. He brought every linebacker, and the quarterback was still able to convert the first down. Power. From the 30-yard line. First down. Two down, two down. Green nine, green nine. Green nine. Green nine. Thompson will run it again. Inside the and ten. And touchdown. Home. Touchdown. This kid is incredible. He's got the moves, the speed, the power. He's the total package. Cannot wait to see him in the NFL. He hasn't been so and much he hits of a the good back here. A short three play, 48 yard drive. He a better win in the game. NFL. So our score. 17-6. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Meeks from the one. Makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. <laughs> yeah, he thought he can give. Yeah, yeah, well, 
get past one guy, but not the whole football team. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. It was a, which was a big fat nothing. And he's taken down at the 33. Gain of 13 yards. First down. Uh, pick it. I don't want to be baited into making a play. From their own 33-yard line. First down. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. Yeah. He could have taken off for more, though. Thunder cop. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. Throws <laughs> completely stopped immediately. Smith picks up about four yards with a catch. Idaho. We'll take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Cover one press. Quick throw, and down he goes at about the 25 yard line. Bring There's it back. Down, and it first looks like this one's coming back. Clipping. Offense. Offense. Mm -hmm. tisk, tisk, tisk. So they'll move back after that costly penalty and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. Two men in the second and five now after the penalty. Somebody jumped early down there. False start offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. Thunder cop. That's a great tackle. The 39 yard line. Call it a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and ten. Uh, I'll take the cloud zone. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Because it's zone coverage. And they're thinking pass. But they are going to pass. That was a laser across the middle. Tackle around the 26-yard line. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. Pick it. From the 26-yard line. First down. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Touchdown, Idaho! <laughs> no, I just know they're gonna. I just know they're gonna try for two. Oh no, they're not. Well, I'll do. I'll go safe zone either way. He makes the PAT. So a six-play, 70-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and receiver. The score now, 17-13. Hughes gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. 
And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Rams obviously have built their offense around this guy. And through two quarters, everything's working, Herbie. But, you know, you can't just rely on one guy. And he's got to be careful a little bit in the third and fourth quarter, too. Well, you want to keep pushing. I mean, he's off to a great start. His Four offense fees. is obviously off to a great start. It's a four-quarter game. And, you Let's know, see the opponent's going to get try a big to get back game. into this game, take some chances. So, if this running back is smart, he'll continue to challenge himself, his offensive line, and the entire offense continue to try to put more points up on the board. And they get the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Different formation for these. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. Colorado State holds a four-point lead. It was incomplete intended for his wideouts. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Third down and 14 to go. Ball on their own 21. to about the 34-yard line. Well, the defense was set up here to defend the pass and left some running room. He only fell a little bit short. The Rams will use their first time out of the half. I just hope it isn't late. Too late. Fourth and one. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. This is a very questionable play call here. I'm not sure I agree with it. Last run there. Colorado State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. I don't think there's a coach in the world who wouldn't be happy with getting five yards of carry. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 39. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. Aaron and out long. Doesn't get there. Yeah, nothing. All right. That's the end of the half, and believe it or not, it's still anyone's one ball game. 17-13, Rams. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to filling a close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today. Yeah, the next yeah, one yeah. Next week get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So I'm not going to argue it's it is great. one it's of the close. best games, going back but and it isn't I mean, the best what game. What a treat to on. watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us, and more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? David's ready to get back on that Please. couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed right up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll.
Okay, guys. Uh, I'm back. Here. Seems like I'm in a thingy position here. I will be officially declared back here. So. I can kick the ball off. Very close game now as we start the second half. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. On the ground, inside. He's taken down around the 25-yard line. Loser tackle for a loss. No, that would be me. Down to the 25. Bullet slant three, I think. From their own 25-yard right. line. It's second down. Game called it. I'm going to execute it. And they make the stop at the 35-yard line. Third and two. Strong safety, my dog. I like that. I like that play. Yeah. That play leaves there. Room for them to pass it. Yeah, come on. Ah! He got He's through that. Inside the 30. To the 10. Touchdown! Huge play! Uh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! Did you just see the ref come out of that guy's body? kinds of major things can happen when you have a good ground game. To go yeah, up by yeah, three, they'll kick, they'll the, kick the extra after. point. And he converts the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. A fist fight going in Fresno. A tight game. Two relentless fighters exchanging blows. The Bulldogs are on top. 6 3. All right, thanks, Reese. Whoopie doo. Whoopie doo. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. What a game it's been for him running the ball, Kirk. You know, the most impressive thing you could say is not only does the entire defense know, the entire stadium knows he's going to get the football, and they still cannot slow him down. That's a commitment by the running back. It's also a commitment by the offensive line and the coach. Well, the numbers always look good on the stat sheet, but they're going to need to put up points. There's still Wonderful plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. As soon as I say that, there's always going to be a reason. I'm going to quickly find out the reason. Gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Power O. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25 yard line. the 
give. And down he goes at the 33. That H back slam, so I'll it's take third the power. They're about two yards shy of the sticks. Power. Uh-uh. Not good. Meeks is the deep man awaiting the return. I can punt, but on fourth and short, I always like to check my options. First. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. Bring it back. Clipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. Coverage it's first and man. Ten. Ball on their own 28. Idaho has a three-point lead. Smith only picks up about a yard there on the option. <laughs> he didn't even get that. What are you even talking about, Brad? If he got a yard, it was barely. Second down and nine to go. An inch is more like it. Makes the catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. And they'll lose a the yard there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That's nowhere to go, but backwards. Oh, and down. It's like he, he's like, here, uh, this way. Here, yeah, I'll help you. Uh, this way. Oops. Third and ten. Uh, Ball on the 28 yard line. Yeah. Let's go this way. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And ten. They defended the play very well in the second. Punt, block, return. They're coming after this punter. I'm fully expecting this. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Yep. It's back mid-draw. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it second and six. H bang draw. Second down and six. Ball on their own 46. Tackled right around the 42 yard line. 
just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. Five quick base from the 42 yard line. It's first down. Tackle after decent pickup. H back plunge. Not been running it. They need about Let's three yards action, to get the first comebacks. here on second down. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Okay. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to play, keep them honest. H back dive. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. 34 is the mic, 34 is the mic. He's coming, check in, check in. Black five, black five. Here we go. He gets out to about the 35 yard line. Fourth and three. That brings us fourth and three. Check my options. 52 yards field goal. That's a better option than a slash. H back counter. Flight screen. Or flash screen. Curls Y stick. Uh, nothing just nah, none of them just stick out. So it's fourth take down. The field goal. They'll call on the field goal unit. It's up, and it's wide right. No good. <clears throat> A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Tigers came into the game ranked seventh. They're now bungee jumping, and the board's going to break. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. And for Ryan, making people take notice with four touchdown runs. After this performance, only one Alabama way to and in. LSU Flat look like they're going to be switch, the Crimson switching Dines places in the three. polls. In other action, time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. Let's take a look at this one again. And for Nevada, they put together a solid drive capped by a scoring run. And for Fontenot, that's more than 100 yards through the air. Fresno State leads it 13-10. Just a field goal difference, Reese, 20-17 to 17 here. Mmm, pick it. Oh, no. We're about set to start things Last up Last time uh, the game picked it, it went the distance. Up a field goal. A big double smokes. Tackle around the 37 yard line. Rover Dog 2. From their own 37 yard line. It's second down. And he's taken down at the 50 yard line. <laughs> Strong safety eagle zone. He's at the 30. That tackle could have saved a very big play. Perfectly run option keeper. Not what you'd expect when you prepare all week to defend the option. But then again, give this offense some credit. These guys aren't exactly the scout team. 
Kirk will get a player down, obviously in some pain. And that's the quarterback. Free safety, middle three. First and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. There he goes. Touchdown, Vandals. Determined running the football. Nobody is going to keep him out of the end zone. Not panicking. Not yet. So we're down ten. And he adds the extra point. A four-play, 65-yard drive, and they put up seven points. And it was really those long runs that really helped propel that drive. So the score now, 27-17. The Vandals, his quarterback, taken off earlier. Down on the sideline right now. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, and I would bet that we'll see him back in the game before the day is over. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. A big draw up the middle. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. We don't really waste drives, but yes, there's a sense of urgency. Corner threat. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Red two, blue four, blue four. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down at about the 35. That's three down and one to go. The Vandals with a 10-point lead. back mid draw welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four Broadway, taken down in the backfield yeah he almost took the ball that brings up second and 13. yeah dustin you see the guy Coming. Don't give him the wall. So weak. It's second and 13. Ball on their own 32. Nice run there. Thompson gains about five yards on the run. Four V's. Third and eight. Ball on the 37 yard line. Black five, black five. Three nine. Three nine. He's under pressure. Going deep. Can't connect. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. Uh, let's see, check the options. No, options not good. Let's go for it. Let's just punt it. 
Terry is the punter. Even in fourth and eight. They'll bring him down at the 34. So he managed to get a few yards. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Yeah, it's my defense that needs to, uh, to step up. The offense needs to step up a little more. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first but down. The defense really needs to step it up. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 47. Gain of six on the pass, and that's good for a first down. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. Coverage from their own 47 yard line. First down. He's taken down at the 41 yard line. Crash three. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Cover Do some six. things to change it up. Take some risks. First and ten. Ball on the 30. He's at the 20, and he's tackled oh, at the 16-yard line. Come on. The defense is not playing well right now. Unfortunately, it's affecting the offense. They're not doing the offense any favors here. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. Free safety blitz. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 13. He's on the run. Touchdown, Idaho. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. Missed it. Which means if I get the uh, point after, uh, get a touchdown now, I've got to go for two. Got to go for he two. Has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one.
corner strike. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Looks to the back and can't connect. What is up? That makes it second and ten. Cross dagger. Second and ten. Ball on the 25. Larry, Larry. Red, two, three, fifteen, seven. Got one to go. He lost the ball. It's recovered. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. Verticals. From their own 13-yard line. It's third down. Got it. Boy, a big play like that can really spark this team. Look at the sideline. They're fired up, and if they score here, it could put them in a position to maybe tie this game up. <laughs> yeah. Forward Vs. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Less than three minutes in the game. Gantry's in it. He's looking for more. He's knocked out bounds at the 26. Without line. a doubt, first down. at this point. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yellow three. Yellow. Catches it, and that's all. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. Well, now we're moving efficiency, uh, efficiently. Four V's. team in the country. Slants. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. of pressure and they got him i think that one's on the offensive line they've got to do a better job of holding their blocks or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game okay now i gotta look at using timeouts four this play is number eight on the drive they come the out right on an empty here. backfield. Red two. Back. Gonna go across the middle. Caught. Tackle made around the nine-yard line. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. Corner strike. It's third down. They need eight yards here to get the ball in the end zone. 
got to go for it. Over a minute this is game. definitely four down territory. Four down six. That's right. Running back's got it. He's tackled at the one. Colorado State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. One minute. Let's see. I can I got to get it in. Touchdown. Touchdown. I got to go for two now. When I got to. to decide who will get their support, they're going to be thinking about performances like this one he's having here today. Quick slants. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. <clears throat> Time to take a peek at what's going on in Fresno. And for Fontenot, he finishes with a touchdown call. The Bulldogs win it by 10. And for Colorado State, they met up with Fresno State last week. Onside's kick. I got to go onside. Now they have to call on their defense to make something happen. They need a big play right here to get that ball back. I am not calling that last time out. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Nice run up the middle. So he holds on to it and gets a good five yards. That brings him second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 45 yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They don't have to run another play. All right. So it will all depend on how low we've, we've fallen the polls. The Rams have to look at this somehow as a positive. Their star player had a great game. They just got to look the next week. Yeah, it's tough anytime you lose a game to be positive. But if you there is anything bungee to be positive jumping. about, it's about that performance by this individual. He, he really did everything that he could do to try to win this football game. Unfortunately, the team ends up losing. But they can't build to the future around his abilities for sure. Thirty-three, twenty-three. I ain't gotten the two. Well, who knows? Uh... <sighs>
All right. View and create. Now this time I'm going to save the photos first. And then save the highlights. Seven and ten. Now that's the opposite end zone. question will be how low do we go in the how do we bungee jump how how low are we going to go in the poles now oh my goodness I think I'm going to need a sideline view. Reverse sideline. Reverse sideline. Actually, end zone. That's the best view there is. There's got to be. Yeah, you can see him put his big butt in the end zone. All the highlights have been saved. All of that has been saved. Now we've gone bungee, bungee jumping. Yeah. Oh my, UNLV put up 62? Let's see, 28, 28, 30, no, 42, 35. My! What a game that was. the graveyard.
I know Quiet's home ground with shocking road win over Colorado State. I'm gonna hate this, but that's the way it goes as uh, we'll save the dynasty, CSU Rams, CSU Rams. Now we'll see how far we fall. I don't think we're gonna go from fourth number four to unranked. That's not likely. But needless to say, it ain't gonna look good going into uh, Tucson. And uh, we may fall out of the top ten. I don't think we'll fall, you know, we certainly are not going to fall out of the holes. We'll definitely fall out of the top ten, though. Uh, that, that, I think, is a given. Okay, Jeff uh, Thomas visited our school. Tim Ball is di uh, committed to New Mexico. Timmy. John Harrington is committed to our is committed to us. Jeremy Green is ready to visit. As is Travis Williams. Everybody else we're in a battle with. No, oh, that's that being ranked in the top five is what we had. Now, unless we go only go from okay, we go from four to ten. Okay, no big deal. Not the end of the world. Could have could have fared worse. CSU Rams. CSU Rams. Could have fared worse. We're still in the top 10, at, at least. Uh, you know, I mean, you know. Seven and two Rams on the road after losing 33-23 at home. And Herbie is picking us to be Arizona. Well, Now that we got our first conference out of you know, our first conference loss out of the way, what can I say? Oh, their starting quarterback got out. It was out for the season. It's 
so they're having a goal on their backup. They won one conference championship back in 1993 when they were a member of the uh, Pac-10. Yeah, them days. Colorado State has won eight conference has won eight conference championships, the last in 2015. And they rank number 10 in the coaches' polls, number 13 in the media, number 13 in the BCS. At Wisconsin, Get an overview of their schedule. Washington State, Nevada, San Diego State, Wyoming. <laughs> yeah, they 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 put a pasting on Wyoming. Seventy. Seventy on Wyoming. My goodness. Let's see who took over our number West Virginia. Others receiving votes. Cal, Arizona State, Ole Miss, Tennessee, and FIU. Dropped out or missing Arizona State. In the media poll. And we were number eight in the media poll. Now we're number 13. Others receiving votes. Georgia Tech, Georgia, FIU, Arizona State, Ole Miss, Auburn, Temple. Dropped out Ole Miss, Arizona State, and Georgia. The BCS. Thirteen. We're we're sixth in that category. Yeah, Virginia Tech's climbing the ladder. That went out thanks to, to us helping them along anyway that's it for this video our next game will be against the Sun Devils from Sun Devil Stadium um, so we'll catch you then